So you guys already know, like, if you knew, then you don't know that this whole process of getting this maxi scooter was like a headache. <laughs> but I finally got it. So here's the deal. For I'll go through the whole process that it took to get this scooter real quick, catch you guys up, and then finally how I did end up getting my beautiful X Max. So if you know that I went ahead and went into the dealership, a Yamaha dealership. We're gonna call this lot this dealership trash dealership. Yeah, because that's what it was. It's trash. So I went into the dealership. I was in there for a good hour and like 10 minutes getting, cause I don't like to, I usually like to pay cash for, for everything I own, but for some particular reason, I was like, I'm gonna try to finance. Ugh, worst decision ever. So I finance, I have good credit, so I didn't have to put anything down. I went ahead and put something down anyway, cause I like to pay stuff off as quick as possible. So I was like, here, take some money to put towards it. I want to pay this off as quick as possible. But at the same time, I was like, I, I'm cool with paying notes over time. The problem came in where my sales rep, she, apparently she didn't know what she was doing. She told me, okay, the bike should be in, in between three to four weeks. Cool. Because they didn't have any of the new x Maxes in stock on the floor at the time. They had to import it from Japan. Because that's where Yamaha's scooters come from. Imported from Japan. Fine. Whatever. I'm waiting for it. The month passed, I'm like, where that? Nobody's called me. I call. Oh, we'll have to get back to you. Okay. I'll call a few days later. Oh, uh, we don't think it'll be in right now. It might take another month. What? Fine. Another month passed. I call. Oh, the sales rep you dealt with, she's no longer here. AKA, she was fired because she sucked. I'm not for sure of that, but I'm pretty for sure of that. Uh, I will be your new sales rep. I will keep in touch. Make sure you know anything, everything about it. But still, you might have to wait another month. Fine. Fine. It's three months now. Third month come. I got a call from her. I'm like, oh, okay. Call me. I'm like, yeah, this is it. I'm about to get it. I'm about to get it. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Shauna. This is so-and-so. I just want to let you know that, uh, it still hasn't come in yet, but we'll let you know. We're, we're, we're predicting within uh, the next week or two. Cool, come, okay, okay. Come a week or two later, uh, still no call, hold on. You know what, let me call another dealership and see what go down. So I called a different dealership to see when the new, like, cause this dealership, they were always so vague. Trash dealership kept being so vague. Keep pushing dates back, pushing dates back. So I called a different dealership, another Yamaha dealership, and asked them, hey, when do you ex expect to receive the new X Maxes? His straight up answer was like, well, you know, all our X Maxes come, come imported into the California facility, and they're shut down for the next month because the, Cal the governor of California shut it down because, you know, the virus, and he might even end up extending it even longer than a month. I'm like, oh. This is like 30 seconds in just to call in a dealership. He gave it to me straight how it is. The factory is shut down. Technically, all the x Maxes are over there in California. Just no one's in the factories to ship them to us, the dealerships. Oh, okay. So that's how it is. Thank you. I clicked. Hang up on I'm like, oh, so that's all the other dude had to tell me, but he didn't tell me that. Why not? Because he don't want me to leave. That's why. Then I was like, wait a minute. Let me call back this new dealership. We'll call them new dealership. No, we'll call them awesome dealership. Trash dealership over there. I'm gonna call back awesome dealership. I called them and I was like, yo, you wouldn't happen to have a Yamaha x Max on your floor, like at this moment. And he was like, why yes. Yes I do, ma'am. Uh, if you want, I can send you a picture. I was like, uh, that would be cool. Send me a picture, but I didn't ask you a question. So at the trash dealership, I was approved to be financed. Would I have to do that process with you guys if I came over to you guys? This other dealership was a Yamaha dealership? Yes, it was. And you were approved, approved? Yes, approved, approved. So you got that Yamaha card in the mail? Uh, yes, I did. In the mail. I did. Bring your booty meat down here. You ain't say nothing but a word. And that's what happened. I brought my booty meat down to the awesome dealership and was like, charge it please and they was like yes ma'am we will there's your school it was oh my gosh you guys just don't understand how much smoother it was 
Like. When I walked into the trash dealership, it took like 10 minutes before anybody, even anybody approached me to help me. And then it was just, ugh. This dealership, as soon as I walked in, hey, how can I help you? Uh, yeah. I spoke to somebody on the phone about this scooter right here. He was like, oh yeah, you're Shauna, right? And I was like, yeah, I'm Shauna. He was like, I right, let me roll this to the back and get it ready for you. I was like, I didn't even prove who I was. I didn't prove I had the Yamaha credit card, nothing. He was just, he was like, okay, yeah, I remember you on the phone. Let me roll this back, get this ready for you. Okay. <laughs> you start putting gas in the tank, filling it with oil and all that stuff, because you know, they can't keep gasoline in the scooter while it's in the building enough for it to blow up or anything. So he's like, yeah, I'm gonna put, bring this to the back, to the garage in the back, put some gas in it, get the oil, get the stuff ready. Uh, This dude over here, he'll help you with your paperwork. I'm like, everything is moving so fast. It took months and months and months over here. And y'all like, as soon as I walk in the door, five minutes in, y'all like, all right, swipe. There you go, Shauna, it's yours. I'm like, why did not go to you first? The, uh, the trash dealership, when you go inside, it looked uh, so much bigger because they sell so much more than just Yamaha. They also sell like, Ducatis, all sports bikes. This one had sports bikes and stuff, but I think it was primarily just Yamaha, so it was a little smaller. But boy, I tell you, customer service was on point. I should have known when I answered the phone. He was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna be straight up with you. Factories are closed in California. It'd be a month, and if the governor decide to keep it closed for another month, hey." So I was like, "Dang, man, thank you." So. Oh, and if you're wondering like, well, what about the money you put down at the old dollar shop? But well, let me tell you about that one. So I called them, I was like, yo, I want my money back because I'm going to this new dealership and they giving me a Yamaha Axe Max. Oh, they have a Yamaha Max Max? Yeah, on the floor, they have it in the showroom? Yes, why are you asking me this question? Just give me my money back. Oh, yes, ma'am, we'll give you your money back. But that's only after I called four times. First time I called, oh, your sales rep, he's not in right now. Cause I said, hey, I wanna talk to my sales rep about getting a refund. Oh, he's not in right now. Okay. Would you like me to give you a message to have him call you back? Yeah, okay. Then five minutes passed, I was like, this baloney. He was the second sales rep. He wasn't even the real sales rep. No, let me talk to a manager. I call back, can I talk to a manager? Okay, let me transfer you. He transferred me, or she transferred me. Hi, no one's in at the moment. Click. It the phone hung up because no one's in the office, I guess. So I called her back. Yo, nobody's in the office. I need to talk to somebody. Oh, let me go look around. Oh, I'm sorry. There's no one available. No one available. No managers, no other sales reps, no other customer service. Just you answering the phone and you not equipped to do none of this that I'm asking you for. Fine. Have somebody call me back like an hour two hours later then finally my sales rep called me back oh we can give you a refund but you know either you have to come inside i was like i gotta come inside fine whatever i'm getting my money back then like five minutes later he called me oh well if you want we can also send you a paperwork and uh and then you fill it out and email it back to us then we give you a refund i don't care how you get me my refund just give me my money Either way, yeah, it's here. So that's the story for people who are new and people who are stayed, uh, was following along this whole time. I finally got it, it's finally here. You know how I am. You know how I like to change things up, look-wise. Uh, the intro gives you a hint, hint, what I mean. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Ooh, that sun be bright. Thank you for watching Ramen on Wheels. AK the double row mobile because there's two right now. And I'll see you guys next time. Deuces!